Also, also auch mit Pack Pure war auch klassisch vor dem Fall. Das ist gut. Das so, six vertex models, uh, that is what we do with them. For uh, each vertex, is, uh, well, there's a, a, a row on each edge, and uh, each vertex has uh, two uh, outgoing uh, arrows and uh, two incoming ones. So, this is an example of such configurations. Uh, this means that there are six. Uh, So, so we group them into three groups of uh, A1 and A2 have the same weight. So now, instead of pointing arrow, uh, using arrows, we can also denote the states by uh, by uh, thin lines. So uh, here, uh, if uh, uh, an arrow points down or left, we indicate this by a thin line. And if it points uh, right or up, it's a thin line. So, so, so this. Uh, this table there is equivalent to this one. Now, we also think of, when we think of curves, we think of it uh, one across the curve, so when we do uh, thin uh, lines, we have it represented uh, uh, one across the curve. Uh, one across the curve. So, now it will, the domain will run in certain intervals, but that will be a thing to what we have here. So, so uh, uh, up uh, below and uh, above, uh, we have some incoming. Besides the outgoing. Um, so now the domain will run, and we can also um, we can represent each state uniquely as uh, uh, as uh, a set of uh, L curves with uh, uh, another atoms beside L. So, so, so this uh, this is the same as this. So uh, and then this state here can also be written as this. Uh, So now, if when we have domain wall boundary recognition, we have two extreme states. Well, the high state uh, uh, here and the low state. Uh, so so uh, when we have the domain wall boundary recognition, all uh, all other states will lie in between these two, so we can continuously deform from either this or, or this to uh, any state. Functions uh, like this all set for uh, three different uh, weights. Uh, and, uh, um, this uh, uh, was found. Uh, it was found that this can be written by, uh, as a uh, as a matrix by the three standard process. Um, now, when we have periodic boundary recognition, let's say not uh, not what domain one boundary recognition, but periodic boundary recognition, where this uh, uh, this uh, the, the phases. Uh, Uh, something a theorem called the 
there's several theories uh, in, in that thermodynamic term. Um, that the boundary here will, will approach the shape of, of a certain will have four frozen borders. So here, in, 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 when we do Monte Carlo the six vertex model, uh, the typical output that is done here looks like this. So uh, we see that different phases coexist as there are four frozen corners, and uh, in the middle there is a disordered phase. So in, in northwest it's A1, southeast uh, oh, so A2, and so on. Uh, so so th this means that in, in terms of um, uh, our, our curves uh, here, uh, this one will be closed packed, this will be empty, and uh, this one will be reversed. Down and this will be reversed to the left. So well, when we um, when we go to um, size 1000, we, we already see that um, uh, this, uh, this uh, boundary looks a lot more uh, circular than it did in this one. So, so this is uh, uh, as far as we can uh, have done so far for size 1000. So. Uh, I'll now mention my previous work. So, um, could have been a circumstantial that uh, also for the uh, domain wall boundary could be free entry because it's different from uh, the free entry of three other boundary conditions. Um, but I'll, I'll go through uh, uh, in some more depth on the periodic uh, well on the boundary correlation condition. Uh, recently, uh, Allegra devised a fun Jacobo Beetle to consume the top. Uh, the PX axis is being changed by uh, involving hydrogen in the top, which uh, is equivalent to the uh, C32 and the other boundary conditions. Uh, so so uh, they also found the uh, uh, integral root extension of the density of the solution, uh, which they evaluated in the thermodynamic limit. Um, the conic is probably a uh, partial entropy for some of the local attacks, but also for the partial surface. Um, Some of the final size corrections, but it also worked with the uh, targets. Um, now, when, uh, when we're on the curve delta equals zero, in general, the, the shape will be a, a, an ellipse. It doesn't have to be a, a, So if you move away from the point A to B, you have to not necessarily be an ellipse. Now, uh, uh, so there's a previous work on uh, Monte Carlo. So the first one was City Austin, this one had happened in 2000. Uh, and they had Also, when I also want to share the uh, did some work here with some more some more work in, in the study. So um, that they, they found a more efficient Monte Carlo algorithm. So, so they could actually uh, sh show that uh, uh, the, 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 they found the, the shape of the boundary for front rather than the delta as well. And uh, it, it was also found in their paper that the coexistence of uh, uh, of faces also since the case with delta is less than uh, minus one, or minus two, or one, and minus one. So, so in, in delta is less than minus one, they, they show that the, the, there are three faces that coexist. So uh, I'll say something about the Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, we use the same uh, method as the uh, Addison and the Rechette. Uh, so, 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 so the method is the perturbation of, um, of the curve which you just put there. So, so uh, here, uh, this uh, curve with the uh, local Monte Carlo will almost flip it up like this, and then uh, it will turn like this, and then this. So uh, these are flip up, and the flip down is the perturbation uh, over the almost Monte Carlo. Look, you, you flip if, if uh, this can be a, uh, if you have a corner like, uh, like this, you, you, you can uh, flip like this. So you you see, you still have an unbroken curve, that's the root cause. Uh, I mean, look, both on the left and the right, you have an unbroken curve going through uh, these four points. So, so, so uh, the, the root is, well, the, the, this is uh, uh, the root. We, 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 we change uh, the, uh, on, on this square, we change uh, thin to, two, uh, to thin and, and thin to thick. Well, look, we'll 
we have the icing model that you, you see because uh, it, that, that's why we, when we have the icing model we can perform a spin flip uh, at any site classical as well. But, uh, but here uh, it, it's not uh, not every uh, vertex uh, can be flipped. You have to search first for uh, 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 vertices that can be flipped. You have to respect the yeah. You have to respect the ice rule at all times. Like I can show you, I mean, an example, I mean, look, if you have, sorry, well, or, well, look, this is clearly allowed, uh, this, uh, yeah, but uh, now, uh, look, I mean, look, if you have, See all this picture. Yeah. So, so this you, you look. This environment looks like like this here, right? Oh, but this vertex cannot be flipped because if you flip it, you, you, you will uh, you hit the other curves. So that's not the uh, allowed, right? So this is what I'm saying. So, so, right, so, so uh, 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 the vertices can be, the, their vertices can be flipped up only, down only, or both uh, up and down. So, so you have to keep, uh, when you write the code, you have to have these three lists of them, uh, where vertices uh, can be flipped into classes. This has to be updated at every place part. Um, now, what, what part of, so, so Consider a, a Markov process, right? Where P A B is probability to, to move from uh, state A to state B. So we have the total uh, probability division. This is some of P is one. And, uh, if you also have a detailed balance division, then, then, then it's not a part of the process, but a convergent probability solution Q. Um, now, so, so it, it, this is uh, our algorithm, it's also the old algorithm. From uh, Alison Lashik. Uh, so, so we, we randomly search of all, all the um, L, L squared vertices until we find the vertex uh, that can be flipped. And uh, uh, well, I I if you find the uh, uh, vertex that can be flipped, say up only, then you just follow us. So, so uh, it it's clear that uh, any flip would involve uh, four vertices if you flip. But, well, I you see, if you flip here, uh, one up, so. If we flip, um, uh, flip uh, up, it will involve the devolved on the So, uh, right, so, so, so uh, if we flip up, will affect all the vertices. State uh, for the flip S, and th then the weight is uh, defined like this. So, so it's the, the weight uh, uh, at that time, and uh, after a possible flip, the weight may change uh, to, to uh, because we have another state. Now, uh, there are 16 different, uh, different states S, that is to say, states of four. Uh, if you take four, four uh, vertices of a packet, there are 16 different possible states. Um, uh, we call the greatest weight uh, lambda times. And, uh, um, yeah, so so uh, the, the probability of a flip is uh, uh, the weight of the new state over the, the uh, weight of the maximum state. Um, if you can uh, flip both up or down, uh, then there are two different uh, uh, possible uh, uh, new states as prime. No, no, the, the um, first of all, we're going to um, 
and decide whether there should be a flip at all. So, so it's the probability that there is a flip is uh, uh, the sum between the weight by uh, the two times uh, the greatest uh, weight. Uh, and then uh, if it's decided that there should be a, a flip, then the probability that it will be up is this. calculation of the density. So, um, by density, I mean this, uh, uh, a thick line with density 1 and a thin line with density 0. I should have had more, more to measure uh, density. So, you, you see here, uh, 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 so, so, we can expect that the discontinuity in uh, the, the expectation map of, 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 of rho so when we pass the, uh, along this edge, um, we should have a, a, a heavy side function. We should have a density should be 1 here, and 0 here. Well, the, the symbol of density of a um, vertical edge should be 1 here, and 0 here. Um, so so uh, now the, the, the great. Uh, we did this much as uh, L was 500, so it's been used uh, that much uh, and so forth. Uh, so, so, so it, it, this uh, uh, the, the asymptotic formula, which says the agrees very well with this region of the uh, one, so we, we got that as well with the wave forms. Uh, so, so here is um, the exact formula found by a Lagrange device to find D. So it is the special case where the D is B. That's the voice is good. Uh, so you see by the twofold the integral of L and D is a integral so a constant of the two degrees where the two functions uh, epsilon and epsilon tilde tilde function here. This uh, fold here, which is um, now uh, the they did uh, evaluate this in the technical term in thermal mechanics. Um, so, it, well, it, it, in principle, uh, it, this integral should tell us all, all about uh, um, that's uh, uh, evaluated. So, so the, the, we have distinguished between two cases when we measure density. So, we measure either on the on the vertical edges uh, zero or on the horizontal edges. Um, and then we do it like this. So um, our orientation is like this. Uh, we are a distance s from the main diagonal, and then we measure uh, uh, the parallel to t, so which is parallel to the main diagonal. Um, so in, in this case, um, the integral which I showed you the earlier slide uh, simplifies uh, to this uh, elementary function. Uh, so, so here we see uh, exactly on the diagonal. Uh, here is the uh, the, uh, the string of vertical edges. Here is the uh, string of the uh, uh, horizontal edges. So, so uh, uh, the um, the fitted curve. I don't know. Can we see it? But it's it, it's there in the PPT. I mean, I can look at this. It's just the PPT. Uh, so, so it, it disagrees uh, in, in precisely with the, with the um, aspect. If you move 200 steps uh, below the diagonals or slightly above them, uh, the root point, then uh, the, the vertical case looks like this, and the horizontal case looks like this. It's fairly good, but, but once you move below the midpoint, uh, 300 steps from the main diagonal, uh, uh, the, the picture does become fairly um, uh, noisy. Uh, we also see some deviations from the cases of the root point. Correlation functions. So, so uh, we, we consider two point correlation functions, which are defined like, like this in the expectation map here. Uh, the, the, the horizontal density 
so here we say open size 200. You see the, this kind of uh, behavior. Uh, so we fit this against the exponential function. Uh, find it to one over the size of so 2.9 in this case. Uh, but when we continue to load that, you see the picture is similar, but the spectrum itself changes from 300 to 7. Then uh, it stabilizes around 500 and it remains around 0.12. Uh, so now, uh, as we move away from the lower boundary, uh, in the uh, uh, correlations for applicant use on this. So, this is 10 steps above uh, the lower boundary for the instance. This is 4,000. So, you see the sense of the very narrow. Here is a plot, uh, two dimensional plot. So, here we measure um, from a point here, uh, we measure it in, in this direction. So, so we, we see that there are fairly strong correlation functions uh, here at the, at the bottom and at the top. But uh, um, we'll see in, in here in the middle, there's a region where this is in complete sort of. So uh, on, on the lower boundary, they, they found this. So, so we have this kind of exponential basis tunnel to go back to. And when we, there, there were four steps above the lower boundary, we found these uh, plateaus. And, and so so uh, this continues with the rest of the steps. And that is to say, uh, uh, in the middle of that, this is the plot. Uh, uh, there are also these. Uh, uh, it's, it's always uh, delta in this uh, so delta is zero, but the, uh, and the uh, a equals b is one. Sorry, uh, delta b, uh, a square plus b square minus c square. So we can also, I, we was that, uh, I was done some uh, uh, Monte Carlo on, on the uh, final sense correction. So uh, I can say the uh, LX is 300 is the sum. So, so, so um, here, here the picture is a bit clearer than that. Uh, in this case, we're not concerned to fan to this, we should say. Um, so so uh, again, if we reevaluate. Uh, We shall see uh, how the uh, true results seem to deviate from the distribution. Um, so, so uh, we make the observation that the, uh, the number of uh, oscillations uh, in true zone four, the uh, one, 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 two, three, four, uh, is, uh, is the same as the, uh, the height uh, above the lower bound, uh, which is being suppressed. Uh, so here is the, the density profile. Three dimensions. So uh, here, uh, uh, this here is uh, sorry, lower boundary is, is here. So this is third. So the lower boundary is uh, four is here, and this is uh, the right boundary. So you, we see these waves uh, going uh, uh, appearing here, which cannot appear from, uh, uh, which of course don't appear from, from this. Uh, so, so this is a finite size effect. Uh, now we will look a bit more closely at now at the, this point here, uh, the midpoint of the lower boundary, and this point here, the midpoint of the high boundary. So, so um, 
zero is one function in the pixel oscillation. One is a smart oscillation. Uh, the red curtain is the arm. That comes from uh, this uh, instrument. Why does it do this type of loops? Because it uses a few sketches. A spontaneous Now it was lost with the conclusion, so we were told this and then it's been gone by an argument later. Maybe this was an uh, argument. Um, one of the ways you can do it is uh, with these uh, dynamic oscillations. But this is then no longer offered the point because uh, you've got one element to it. Now, all right, this is uh, now we consider. So that, that was this point here, now all the loops at this point, they are in the right arm. In this case, uh, we also see uh, it's, uh, this is the profile of one, uh, exactly uh, on the right arm harmonizing is always one. This is equal to one, one peak, but two peaks, uh, three peaks, four peaks, and so on, uh, as we look uh, away from the line. Um, this pattern as well, because uh, we have five, uh, five, six, seven steps, as you see, the second of the peaks. Um, now, rule 51 was the uh, counting of the 51 peaks. So here, here is the basically the form of the peaks. Um, when we're uh, at the midpoint of the system, this looks uh, marbling. So, uh, yeah, uh, this uh, finishes uh, the talk. So, uh, 